How's everyone doing today? I'm uh, feeling a little pee funky. <laughs> Dr. Funkenstein. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Parliament. Uh, the, that was uh, one of the groups I really liked in the 70s. They were kind of rap before rap was rap, so that's why I liked them. Um, so anyways, to, even though I know it's Thursday and they have Thursday Night Football, Raven Bengals, but I don't you know, neither one of those teams <laughs> mean anything to me. So, so I decided I want. I really this pack's driving me crazy. So it's a 17-year-old blister pack, uh, upper deck artifacts basketball. There's only five cards in it, and uh, of course on the front is everyone's goat, Michael Jordan. So look at that. I paid 3.19 for it. I wonder what these go for now on eBay. I bet. I find out how much. This episode's costing me not to just sell it on eBay, but the the base set has 230 cards in it. 78 of those are Hall of Fame players. We're talking Yao, T-Mac, AI, Kobe, Shaq, D-Wade, Zoe, Dirk, KG, but also old school players like Bill Russell, Bob Cousy, Dave Cowens, uh, the Admiral, Earl the Pearl, uh, Mike and George Mike and Dr. J, Bird, Magic, Pistol Pete, and my goat, Matt, Wilt Chamberlain. I always said <laughs> Magic Ch Wilt Chamberlain uh, when I, you know, I've already justified why I think Wilt's the goat. But uh, there are also 50 rookies in the base set, including this was the Greg Oden year, uh, Mike Connolly, Joachim Noah, and then this one player named KD, Kevin Durant. So pull a KD rookie, that would be cool. There's also 19 insert sets, including a lot of jersey and autograph cards, and there's six parallel sets. So there tons of the possibilities are endless. There could be an MJ autograph in this. I'm, I'm just, but before I get to that, and in honor of my goat, Wilt Chamberlain, I thought I would share with you guys something that I picked up back in off of eBay back in 1999 that I thought you think I thought you guys might enjoy. And it is a um, December 12th, 1962 game program between the San and the game was between the San Francisco Warriors and the Syracuse Nationals. And the Warriors won the game 136 to 124. Wilt scored 61 points. Uh, the guy that I bought this off of who, who did all this and he, he, he gave me a bunch of notes about about uh, what what was in here. He it was actually 61 points. He wrote 60 for Wilt, so that's kind of funny. Um but, I mean, it's, you know, attendance, 2,614 people were, that's all that was at that game. Again, one of Wilt's, you know, uh, significant games. Hal Greer's in here, Dolph Shays, Johnny Kerr, um, so Wayne Hightower. So, anyways, what's super cool about this is the front actually has some autographs on it. So you got uh, Ted Luckinbill, you got uh, this guy Gary Phillips, um, Guy Rogers, Larry Costello, Tom Meshery, uh, Willie Knowles. That's Al Adels and Wilt Chamberlain's autographs right there. And then if you even got a couple autographs on the inside of this program, so cool. <laughs> this is like going back in history, right? Hubie White signed on the inside. Um, you know, here's all the pictures of all the... There's Wilt's picture. How cool is that? Um, Tom Meshery. Tom Gola. I actually have his autograph. And, and then Wayne Hightower signed it uh, as well and then and since I'm already in here I'll just finish off this thing real quick give you so there's team records referee hand signals stars around the league Elgin Baylor Bill Russell I've got Elgin Baylor's autograph Bailey Howell 
Got his. Richie Guerin. Dolph Shays, I have his. Bob Pettis, I have his. Walt Bellamy's, I have his. Oscar Robertson, I have his. Kuzi, I have his. Twyman, I have his. Cliff Hagen, I have his. Jerry West, I have his. So, Dave DeBusher, I have his. Uh, and there's Larry Costello here here on the back, which is funny because he, he signed on the front. Uh, so, Joe Roberts and Larry Costello were the two that signed on the front who were not, there's Joe Roberts right there, who were, who were actually Syracuse players, not a, not a San Francisco player. So, anyways, I thought you guys might find that cool. Um, and a uh, little walk back in history. And so now let's, let's do this. Got some sunshine right across my face, I see. So that's hilarious. Happy to have sunshine, to be honest. Look for one of one game used team logo cards. It says that right on the bottom. So there's the back. So we'll set that over here. I guess it doesn't really matter because we only have five cards, so this isn't going to take up much space. So right now, it's the possibilities are endless. As soon as I open it, <laughs> I didn't cue up the sad trombone because I can't, man. I just there's no way. Come on, come on, MJ, MJ's autograph. Put a grandkid through school. Give me MJ's autograph. <laughs> All right, I see Andre Iguodala. Nope, three year NBA total, so that's not his rookie card. But I do feel like Iguodala is going to end up in the Hall of Fame. So here's what the back of these cards look like. And let's take a look at the front. So kind of, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's wood. It's supposed to look like wood at least. Um, weird. I don't know what kind of wood that is on the bottom. The top obviously looks like paneling. So, so there's there's what they look like. Next card is Sean Marion. Don't he? He put up some really good numbers, but I just don't see him making the haul. Sorry, Sean. And I can't, ah, there we go. Sean Marion. Next card is Baron Davis. Whoa, there's a name from the past. Well, <laughs> I don't know what happened. The uh, video crashed right towards the end, so you guys did not get to see cards four and five, which was J.J. Reddick and... Uh, and then Jason Terry, coach of the of the Grand Rapids uh, basketball team. So sorry, you missed the last two cards. Um, obviously, I can't seal it all back up and redo. So I'm gonna just have to tag this on to the end. But in in summary. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I mean, Baron Davis, Andre Iguodala, that's a cool card. Sean Marion was a good player, but no Hall of Famers, no autographs, no Will, no MJ. So, peace and pickleball, peace and pickleball. Uh, P-Funk in your heart, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow with something different. <laughs>